Hey guys, welcome back. There's uh, something not quite right with this one. I think uh, that, you know, looks, looks about like that. You know, they, they say they never jackknifed it. Anyways, so our job for this afternoon is to replace this. I guess it wouldn't really be called a hitch, maybe like a tow bar. I'm not sure the technical name. You have the lunette ring and then whatever these are called. And then I guess this is more like a tow bar. So I'm assuming this is paper thin, just like the square tubing one I did. So I've got some... Uh, 3 16 material to put in there. I'm assuming the, this is uh, thinner than that. You can see this already uh, been repaired multiple times. Keeps breaking off. It's already cracked. Customer was nice enough to get these parts for me. So I don't have to really do a whole lot of crazy cutting and gouging and fabricating I'm going to save these air lines I'm going to carefully carefully cut those off so that uh, so that, that that's all good and you know we'll transfer this over and, and this over to the new one so see I think the first step will be to unbolt those and get this disconnected. And I'm sure you guys know what that is. Good old nine axle brackets. Four inch, two inch. This will be the, be in our part two of fixing the axle, the nine axle the correct way. So these are brackets the customer supplied. I uh, would have used water jet. These were flame cut. Anyways, that's for another build. Back onto this uh, tow bar.
We're just gonna have to run a new tube now, because that's this one's all fucked up. so much for saving that tube but luckily I got uh, extra tubes got extra tubes we could use that one right there all right now let's um, see if how I know that's gonna come off easy I'll see how tight those are There's no grease in there. Do these not fit grease?
clamp. All right, so we got that pretty well uh, mocked up. We have a little bit of play in here still. Can't wiggle it too too hard or it'll fall. Um, I'll just kind of hold it up, tack it, and check. You can see on the factory one, you know, they've got one, two, they've got three passes right there. So there was definitely you know, they definitely had a gap in there to fill. You could just kind of see the way it was sitting and we'll, we'll make sure there's plenty of passes on there. I did uh, notch that a little too much, but that will be easy to fill. All in all, that uh, fit actually pretty decent. I'm going to um, tack everything together pull it out and then weld it because these uh, I believe these are polyurethane bushings these will obviously melt if you know I put a nice heavy weld right here plus I'll be able to flip it around and make it nice and comfortable and easy to weld so I think we'll get out the welder and then we'll get this bar tacked take it off fully weld it then we'll put it back on and then we'll weld on the airlines and I'll have to fish that electrical cord out of there. Hopefully that's not an issue with that plug. I'll figure that out. And then, yeah, then we'll paint it. I do really like um, this portable bandsaw. I was kind of skeptical at first. When they first came out, and then I saw a couple of people using them. It's um, it, it's impressive. I I've used it on stainless exhaust, and it just cuts right through it. And the blades last surprisingly for just being factory Milwaukee blades. All right, back at it.
I think it's a good idea to put the cross member pieces in there. Otherwise, when I take those out, those uh, those ends are going to move around. So we'll put the cross member pieces in there. This is a little bit bigger, a little bit thicker than what was in there. All right, we got her off. You can see nice, nice flat welds. We can just rotate this thing around to exactly how we want it. Um, yes, using short circuit MIG, 75-25 gas, and EOR70S6 wire, 0.035. I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of comments. Oh, that's gonna break. Should've stick welded it. Should've used flux core. Should've used dual shield. All, all that, I, I don't care. This is the way that I did it. I'm very confident in um, welding with short arc. So, um, yeah, I just, I just don't care. Um, well, we're gonna sing, yeah, weld it out. And probably not gonna make it out of here by dark, before dark, but it'll be close. Let's get to welding. Look at all those. Look at all those girls over there. Every single one of those needs some love. There's our uh, 349 coming up in a line boring video.
gonna let these this side cool down a little bit and then while I'm doing that I'm gonna mess with the cleaning up like the airlines over there and then that plug and stuff all right we're making some progress here the owner showed up and was talking to him for a while so I made some progress since you've last seen it got the airlines are uh, on there and then we got our wire tube here letting it cool down and then we're gonna run that that wire back through there now they had like some studs like uh, not spot welded but mill maybe spot welded on that tube and then these um, Adele clamps were on there so the closest thing I could do to that would be to weld quarter inch bolts on there and that'll go through those Adele clamps and that will be very close to factory how they had it got everything almost buttoned up here I've got got these on and tight getting close getting real close and I got this on and then there's a little rubber deal that goes on there with some tape Let that cool down a little bit more and we'll get that on and then some paint so now we're going to weld those uh, nuts or the bolts on there
just like that. All right, guys, that's it. All cleaned up. Now it's kind of hard to see the details when it's dark. But that's it. They will be able to run in the morning. And that's the, that's the goal, keep these guys going. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.